What's it going to take for significant numbers of these high-achieving women to really embolden ourselves to step forward to leadership? Well, I can tell you that the road ahead is going to be very different than the one that we've already traveled because we are now moving into unchartered territory. And here's my big three of what we need. And I want to say to you that I didn't just make this up. I mean, yes, I drew from my four decades on the front lines, but there's also so much research out there, and I poured over all of it. And then I went out and did original interviews. I have about 100 hours of transcribed interviews looking for the answer, and after a while, you see patterns. So here's my big three. First, we need new skills. We need leadership skills. There are seven leadership practices that we must master next. I consider it our graduate work. Next, we have to start helping one another. You know, we are in kindergarten when it comes to learning to play and win as a team. The brotherhood is a well-oiled machine. The sisterhood has got to get our act together. It is time to join Team Women. And of course, we need influential, powerful men in the game with us. It's not enough today for men to be on the sidelines cheering us on. We need them in the game with us because men still hold most of the keys to the leadership locker room doors.